Sup people, guess who's back in heaven's kitchen? Come closer Tim, come hither. I'm declaring, like I did when I beat your ass in cricket the other day. It's because where he was being a yeah, cripple. Enough of your excuses. So, come into my lovely heaven's kitchen. Back we are with me, centre stage, cooking. Today we're doing thick barbecue beef sausages and more. Thick barbecue beef sausages. Hopefully, thank God. And, and gravy. And I'm not going to slam my hand in or on that <laughs> sweet potato mash. <sighs> Sorry. No. What, what the hell am I doing? So, I'm going to go get a frying pan out of the, the, the bath. Yes, I'm going to go get a frying pan out of the bath. <laughs> yes, apologies as to why it's been so long for an episode of me in Heaven's Kitchen. Last week, of course, Tim cooked. I did cook last week, but you know, well, my brother actually cooked, I should say. Not me. Mm. But yeah, I did. I, I'll stop saying that. I didn't cook last week, my brother did. And. Tim cooked the week before, so yeah, as you all know, because that was episode 13 and it's already gone up. So welcome, one and all, to the return of Chester Brown with no special guests. Why he's not here. Yet. Believe it yet. <laughs> Believe it or not. And yeah, so it's just me in the thing, and I realise I'm holding this and might just flick it and put myself alight, so... <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this at home. You one thing, don't wipe around lighters at home. It's dangerous, I tell you. It's dangerous. Just kidding. No. Um, what am I doing? No. This is welcome to um episode 14 of season one of the lovely Heaven's Kitchen, where we are making barbecue sausages, well, sausages, sweet potato mash, and gravy. So, without further ado, I'm going to not put the gas on because I aren't even ready with the meat. <laughs> Stab, 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 I'll get it. Stab, keep filming, talk to him. Talk. <coughs> no, talk, don't burr. Talk. <coughs> Look who turns up. Welcome back, Wahid. Thank you. So, I'm not alone, once again. Apologies for those who prefer to see me alone cooking. It's not happened since episode 9. Could you kind of move? I'm going to be standing there. Don't, don't mind him, he's just bitterly disappointed because he was annoyed that Australia lost to Belgium earlier. No, I expected it. Okay, good. We can get on with the show then. <sighs> well, I was thinking, just as usual, you always manage to talk me, in, talk me out of my decision. What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming. Yeah, because what else would you have done at home? Lewis, we do have dinner with, I'm seeing curry. Or... Other than eat dinner, what else would you do at home? Because everyone eats dinner at home. Yeah. Um, nothing, just uh... Yeah, no, I can't come to your game tomorrow anyway, so I'm going up to mine. Because Father's Day on Sunday, we're celebrating. Your yeah, dad's in England. Bruce. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. One one tip about cooking sausages, although it may be obvious, you don't need oil because it's fat, obviously. It's coated in fat, that's why it's glistening. Mm. So, let's do this. Mister. That was the first time I swore I was going to tell myself not to swear in this episode. Oh, no, I was going to tell myself not to swear in this episode, and I just, just did it then. Goodbye, Tim. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, wow. There's like what, so many sausages. I mean, 12. Yeah, I would have thought, and, and then I thought everyone gets one each. But looks like everyone will get Go. more than one. On. Whoa. That's what it looks like. Alright, let's cook. Let's cook these bad boys one by one. By the way, I have to oh. leave at 10 ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. And I'll get. I'll get to use sound, a sissy. I don't want to play that. <laughs> Alright. Sausages are in and cooking. 
They're not sizzling yet, not yet. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, that'll be well. What am I doing? I'm seriously, chop them so they don't stay together. Yeah, oh, chop, chop them. Chop them with, chop them with bloody scissors. What? Uh, Why else are you gonna chop them with wide your hands? No, but you normally chop meat with a knife. No, I'm not chopping meat. I'm not chopping the sausage. I'm chopping the ends of them so they're not tied together. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's been fun. Cook faster. Come on, really, get up there, cook. Shouldn't you use the handle? What? The handle on the frying pan. Better. No, I'm not, wait, yeah, I'm not doing too much. But yeah, much, so Chester, I wouldn't expect you to go tonight because I'm going to be there watching. Oh, yeah, uh, he's holding that as well. Watching all the games. Mm hmm. I would, I would have it's actually. Like stubborn packaging ever. I would have stayed back more longer last week if you if you if you didn't make me go. In the end, I I, I didn't do the I didn't go and go to yours to do the challenge. It. I yeah. just went home, so I could have stayed at Winfield. Mm-hmm. Because um. Ne I will next time. Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna put them all in. What am I going to say? I'm going to order this up one second. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not just leaving them like this. Are you sure they're all going to cook if you put the bunch of them all up in there like that together? That's an excellent question, Wayne, and no, I'm not sure because I don't think they are. I just don't want to wait extra long. I think you should, Chest, otherwise you're going to have, you're going to have an issue with undercooked sausages. No, obviously, thus, idiot, thus idiot, thus idiot listen, I'm not going to take them out if they're clearly raw. Obviously, some of them aren't going to cook quicker than others. Obviously, the only way I'm doing this is that this way, I don't have to take them out and then wait again. Well, I'll, I'll, I would have waited. No, it'd take forever. It's so much quicker, because at least you can get how long some half-cooked and then they, take how, the how long do they normally take? Sausages? Yeah. I forgot. Don't put me on the spot in Heaven's Kitchen. <laughs> Makes him seem like I'm actually, it's a whole, a, a massive big facade. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, 20 minutes, give or take, you know. So I've really put my hand on the kettle this morning. I'm off, sorry, my finger. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Bloody hell, so stupid. The steam. Yeah, I put, and my hand was right at, right at the... Remember my, remember my... Oh. Thing I started at the beginning of Heaven's Kitchen over to the kettle. Hashtag screw the kettle. Mm -hmm. So right. when when does when does what? Phase three. Blah blah blah. Jog. Full jog with boiling water. Blah. It's easy. So when does Wahid appear on oh, on another show? When does he cook again? When to film this? I don't know. Well, I certainly would like to appear again. Mm. If I am right. Yes, but you have to watch your mouth. I didn't really... Let's do an experiment whilst this is cooking. Can you film here, please? Let's start a fire. Yeah, burn your house down. But everything will be a dinner for you then. <sighs> your old bricks will be... Come on! <laughs> I wonder if it's not, it's not even warm. You're not going to do it. Of course you're not. <laughs> There's no way. You like the... Stones help. Yeah, I'm not going to actually set fire in the kitchen, Wally. There's right. already two flames under One here. One thing I want to know, this might be another question, or it probably is a basic science question, but I, I never quite understood how, the, how that stone and sticks put just uh, all of a sudden make fire. Or it, do it's it the friction. Yes, it's the same friction. reason this makes fire. So it's, it's a friction. Yes. So it's also like, um, you know when you get, you know when you get wheels or something, you know when you're taking wheels down a road and all of a sudden you see bits of sparks on the ground? Anyway, yeah. you know when sometimes wheels are, like, I'm talking like, you know, suitcase wheels and yeah. stuff like that where it's all hot when you touch it yeah. under. Anyway, never mind. Go back. Friction. 
people, this is the prime example that Wahid never did science. Okay, most of the time in... Uh, he never paid attention in school. He didn't even know what an irrigation system was. I know what an irrigation yeah, system is. Yeah, no, I can't tell you. No. I knew what it basically meant. Anyway, no, uh, yeah. This is me in class and school all the way from year 7. Let me, let's even to, to, show up, even, even to 12. I'll give you an example. Whilst he's oh, yeah, copy. yeah. Oh, did you watch last night's game, man? Yeah, did you? Oh, you know that. that oh, what a goal was! Uh, what a goal! Oh, yeah. Then oh, that, to, then oh, okay. Next ne ne minute, next minute, when teacher tells me to sh tells me to shut up, I'm just. I'm, I'm then cut head to on me the table me sleeping. Like, cut to me being Callum. Oh, screw you, Wahi, you idiot! No one wants to talk to you, you idiot. He's more mature now, but back then, you oh, idiot. He, he never said that. Fine, fine. Who said that? No one said that. Someone said that. Right, and then cut to Clarence. Hey, girls, check this out. Actually, he didn't do that to the girls, he did that to the guys. <laughs> oh, hey, why? Check this out. <laughs> yes, there's a guy called uh, Clarence Gromowski in high school. He was very infamous in from about year 7 to about, about, about 10. Mm -hmm. Especially with his uh, flashing of his penis. <laughs> I'm sorry for a minute. I thought you were about to say, especially with his flaccid penis. <laughs> <laughs> Enough with the. That's not swearing. No, I mean the. It's not a swear word, so you can't bleep it out. Dirty talk. Dirty talk. Dirty talk. <laughs> I, I said dirty talk. It's a dirty. It's a dirty But I got my non-sense sweet, non-sense bleep I can use. Which is? It's a lower tone to the sense bleep for. Did I just call it tin? Oh my god. No, when was the last time you drove? I can't remember. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is supposed to be a cooking show, not a musical show. No, I'm showing them whilst he's cooking because I don't know. When was the last time you went driving? I can't remember. So you're still not able to give me a lift, sir? No. You owe us money. After that? Maybe. I can answer yes. When you're bored it's in the kitchen and you have chopsticks, become a musician. In many ways, set up your drum kit. Oh, yeah. That's a good, a thing. good way is a good thing to know. You know, don't be a musician, try and become a footballer. Become a footballer, don't listen to Chess's, Chess's ideas. Good. Don't be a musician, be a footballer. Oh, here's my symbol. And Chester still ha doesn't know what, didn't hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I did. And you're and you're not and you're not getting annoyed. Oh, come on. And this is basically Chester's random episode. Basically, an episode for him to be random, however way he wants to. All right, here we go. So show the drum kit. This is um, whilst those are cooking. I'd like to give you a demonstration, if you would like, from my kitchen drum kit. Okay. Uh, I wish I had a. Um, does that sound like a kick drum? I have to knee it, okay? There's my kick drum there, Al. This is gonna hurt. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, I can't do it like my knees, because that's the thing. How about you give me three, a go? I, was good. I can do it. I'll, I'll have a drum off with Wahid, okay? Three, two, three, two, one. Yeah, but never wait. Let the other guy have it. Okay, here's Wahid's turn. Everyone. You just... Come on, get a pattern going. Well, here's my beat. Although he's not doing oh, my turn. drum solo, alright, this is full on drum solo, okay? Alright, I have to go through the aspect, the, the different parts of the drum kit. So, the snare. That's the kick drum, but I'm not going to do it because it hurts and it's hard to keep it in time. You've got your ride cymbal there. You've got your crash cymbal there, even though it doesn't sound like a crash cymbal, actually. That's your crash cymbal, that's your ride. Hi hat. Tom, Tom. Is this still a state? Yeah, basically like that. Okay, ready? Steady. This is... 
I'm going to actually play a proper song on the drums here, as best I can, at least keeping a beat, okay? I'm going to do Highway Star by Deep Purple, okay? Let me get it in my head. I wish I had like a fake keyboard here. <laughs> I'm going to kick drum. So maybe you should set it higher. No, it's fine. We're fine. Okay, you know what? The sausages are cooking. Y'all don't need to see sausages cooking. You know, you've seen enough today. Um, let's just end it here. Otherwise, we're just going to drag on. Hello. Uh, on. I, I've got one thing to say. I, I just came here for the food. That's his catchphrase. Hashtag, I just came here for the food. He's got Twitter, so follow him on Twitter. At. I hate Jerry. Thank you. And I've got Twitter, and follow me on Twitter, at Euphoric So, without further ado, people, sausages cooking. They're not cooked, but they're cooking. Heaven's Kitchen, episode 14. <laughs> Take 7. Okay. Thanks for watching, episode 14 of Heaven's Kitchen. Episode 15 is next week. Tune in for it. I've been your boy, Chester Brown. Cliche, saying it off other YouTubers. A.K.A. Euphoric Keys. It's Chester Brown, you fucky, while he chowdery and behind the camera, as always, Tim Bolton. This has been Heaven's Kitchen as again, episode 14. Sausages and mash and gravy, which you don't need to see us make, it's pretty boring. Uh, tune in next week for episode 15. Peace out. Finally! <laughs> so, I'll sign off. <laughs> um, alright. <laughs> <laughs>
this has been episode 14 of Heaven's Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Again, there was virtually zero in cooking. I, I should probably just call it Heaven's Mocking About. Hey, I've got, I've got, that's got, really oh, I've on. I've got oh. a question. When will the next live show be? 50. Got it? I've okay. said this about a billion times. And, and that'll be me, will it? Yes. Ah. Everyone knows that. So, until next time, next week, which will be episode 15. Ooh, we're closing in on the end of season 1. We've only got five more episodes now to go for season one, so we're getting pumped! We've no, no, it's, it's seven. No, we're doing 20 episodes. No, it's 22. No, no, 20, because Tw we're talking about... So, 22. Oh, this will so, be cut out what we're rambling on about right so, now. So I'm, so I'm not going to be on until season three. I don't know. Basically, it says if it's episode 50... <laughs> Can I do my outro about you interrupting me every single second? All right. <laughs> and then fall over. <laughs> Alright, I have I have a public announcement to make for those of you watching it. <laughs> Kevin's Kitchen. Um thanks for what <laughs> Why you just scared me for the food? <laughs> yeah, keep that on it. Okay, ow. Um they don't know that hurt my arm. Um <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Episode 15 will be next week. This has been episode 14, Owl of Heaven's Kitchen. Um, burnt myself, that's all you need to know. Um, okay, thanks for tuning in. This is episode 14 of Heaven's Kitchen. I'm your boy, you four keys, aka Chester Brown. I mean, Chester Brown, aka. <laughs> Bloopers again. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Thanks for tuning <laughs> Thanks for. Take four. <laughs> Take. Thanks for tuning in. Take five. <laughs> Go to lots of bloopers this time. <laughs> Take six. One more. I'm not going to. No one wants to see violence on film. Come on. I'm fucking my guard up. No one wants to see violence on film. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Okay, can I do my proper outro now? I think you have to like take six. Good, there's loads of bloopers this time, Tim. Take. I can't do this! I can't uh, do this! Uh, <laughs>